Okay. Um, real quick. We're on 6.1B, angle sum. We're talking about exterior angles. So this is number one. This is a problem from yesterday. So just pause it and copy down these numbers if you need to look at it, because I'm going to turn the page. So we're talking about exterior angles. So to make an exterior angle, I draw a line off of the corner, only one line. So I have 61 plus something makes, and these are supplementary, notice. They're all gonna be supplementary. 61 plus 119, 79 plus 101, 40 plus 140. So those make supplementary angles and all three of them added together make 360. For a quadrilateral, it's gonna be the same process. The lines, the exterior lines are drawn. So it's like 124 plus 56, 76 plus 104 degrees, 89 plus 91 degrees. And I'm obviously doing this fast because you sitting and doing the calculator, every single problem would take on all four of these problems like 10 minutes. And 71 plus 109. So when you add them all up, 104, 56, 91, 109. This also adds to 360 degrees. So that is the exterior angle measure for all polygons, no matter how many sides it has. I'm gonna fill in for the pentagon and the hexagon, but again, it's gonna add up to 360. Okay, so pentagon, 98 plus 82 is supplementary, 121 plus 59 is supplementary, 87 plus 93 is supplementary, 130 plus 50 is supplementary, 104 plus 76 is supplementary. All right, now, what can you conclude? Oh, the sum of the exterior angles of any polygon is 360 degrees, no matter how many sides it has. I'll fill in the hexagon, sorry. Um, No. Okay. Good. All right. Number one. Okay. Suppose that angle one is congruent to angle three. And angle one is three X. Angle two, oh, well guys, if angle one is three X, how big is angle three? Someone, if angle one is three X, how big is angle three? Three X. Yeah, guys, we're three X. Raising hands. I heard you though, but then I have like three people yelling out and I have no clue who it was to, Acknowledge that person. Can someone virtually raise their hand and say it again? Logan, thanks. Logan. 3X. 3X. Now, angle two is 2X, okay? Just put an X next to the two. <laughs> 
Okay, what is the measure of each exterior angle? Well, we don't even know four and five. Ugh. Well, if they're supplementary, this is a 90 degree angle. How big is angle four? Someone raise their hand, don't yell out. How big is angle four? Jalen. 90. 90 degrees. Okay. Someone else, how big is angle five? Connor. 90. 90. Okay. So I need new people. So like, Jalen, you're good. Connor, you're good. Um, other people that have volunteered today, I forget, but Logan, Dunn, bam, 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 you volunteered. Okay. I have to add up all of the exterior angles and they're gonna equal 360. So I'm just gonna go in order. 3X plus 2X plus 3X plus 90 plus 90. 3X plus 2X plus 3X plus 90 plus 90 equals 360. That is three plus two plus three, eight X plus 90 plus 90, 180. You're just solving for X. Um, 22.5. 180 divided by eight, 22 and a half. Okay, so I'm then gonna have to figure out each angle. Obviously I know angle four and angle five are 90. Measure of angle one is three times 22.5. That's 67.5. Measure of angle two is two times 22.5, which is 45 degrees. And then obviously the measure of angle three is the same as one. Okay. Okay. Questions? Okay. All right. Number two, take some focus. So stay with me. All right. Suppose that angle one and three and four and six are all the same. Whoa, one and three and four and six are all the same, okay? Fine, no problem. Then angle two and angle five are the same. Angle two and angle five are the same. All right, so here's what it's asking. Um, figure out what the measures of one of them is, angle four. All right, so looking at this, I know that four of them are exactly the same. Let's call those X. They're all the same. One and three and four and six will all be X's. And then I'm gonna say that two and five, they're the same, so they can be a different variable, why? Okay, so angle three, which is an X, is the same as angle two plus 30, 30 more than angle two. So angle two is Y, right? X equals Y plus 30, because aren't three and one and four and six all the same? So I can give them all the same label, X. And two and five are the same. 
So this next sentence, measure of angle three equals the measure of angle two plus 30, I can use my variables, right? Now, how am I going to figure out, because don't all of them add up to 360? How am I going to figure out how to write this? All of them add up to 360, right? So, okay, what do I do? Uh, I'm not sure, but um, uh, are you supposed to like set something up so they equal like 180? No, they equal how much does the sides equal? All the sides? So all of these, one plus two plus three plus four plus five plus six equal 180. I'm sorry, equals 360. So what can I say about one, three, four, and six? They're all four the same. How would I write that? 4x. 4x. And then two and five are the same. There's two of them. See what I did there? So four of the same size plus two of the other same size equals 360. And then I need to look at this. X substitution, guys, equals Y plus 30. So instead of X, why don't I put y plus 30 instead of x because isn't x equal to y plus 30 i have to do substitution because i need to solve for just one variable any questions so far because this is a little complicated i want to make sure that we're clear These are all the same, X, 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 X. These two are the same, Y, Y. Then I was told that one of the X's equals Y plus 30, 30 more degrees. So now I'm just substituting and solving for one variable. I only wanna solve for one variable. Four Y plus 120 plus two Y equals 360. Six Y plus 120 equals 360. Minus 120, 6y equals 240, y equals 60 degrees. 60 degrees are my greens. Wouldn't it be 40? I don't know what I do. Oh, is it? It is 24 divided by six. Okay. Yep, yep. Okay. Then the reds are what? Because y plus 30 equals my red. What's red? Someone else. Why don't you just uh, now substitute y for 40 and then add yeah. 30? So x is 70. All the others are 70 degrees. Good. A bunch of 70s and then two 40s. Wait, I think I missed this. How'd you get 4y plus 30 plus 2y again? Oh. You know how X is Y plus 30? Yeah. Angle three is the same as angle two plus 30. So instead of X, I put in Y plus 30, like substitution method. Oh, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, I'm going to number three. What is the measure of each exterior angle of a regular hexagon? Hexagon means six sides. 
Well, I know that all of the exterior angles makes 360. And there are six sides. So I'm gonna divide by six. Each angle is 60 degrees. That's easy. And four is easy and five is easy. Four, what is the measure of each exterior angle of a 24 gone? All of them added together make 360. There's 24 sides. Someone calculate. Beep, boop, boop, beep, boop, boop, boop. Not Shikang, not Kenneth, not Logan, not. Who else are here from? Oh, Logan Nankil. Yeah, you're good. 15. Mm hmm. 15. Five. One of the angles is 12. How many sides? Mm. I don't know. I don't know how many sides. I don't know 24 or I don't know six. 360 divided by, I don't know how many sides. So I don't know why I took a bite. Okay. Well, this was each and it was 15 on number four. I know that each is 12 degrees. So I'm gonna set it equal to 12. And then you can figure out how to solve that problem without my help. You are in geometry now. What's the answer? Someone new. I mean, I don't even know. I'm not saying that anymore. Like it has to be someone new. Avery. Oh, Emily. Wait, Avery, have I heard from you? Oh, I guess not. 30 sides. 30 sides. Great job. Cool. Good. Okay. All right. Your homework tonight is the rest of the, um, the rest of the worksheet from yesterday. I don't think that I did part B's in your digital notebook. So you're gonna have to duplicate a slide and add a slide after 6.1 and title it 6.1 B. Cause I didn't, I only did like just 6.1, 6.2. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna stop, stop recording.